Hey, so I've just got the Mons Geek Fan 60 keyboard and what is very interesting about this one is that it's got the TMR sensors. So not on the switches itself. The switches are just normal Helfix switches. They are new ones from Akko. They are the Akko Glare switches, magnetic switches. I'll show the specification on the screen. So the switches are just normal Helfix switches. Magnetic, of course. There's a magnet inside of there. But is what? But what is new about this keyboard? That is the first keyboard that I know on, in the world, I think. Is that it's got the TMR sensor. So on the PCB, what the te detects the magnet on the switch, the switch, so you can set the actuation between one, two, three millimeters. Is the sensor inside of the PCB? So normally you have a Hall effect sensor, magnetic sensor, and this time it's the TMR sensor. So supposedly the TMR is a little bit better than Hall effect. You probably you could have seen it in like Gully Kit joysticks. They they have like two years, two years ago introduced the Hall effect joysticks and now they have the TMR joysticks which are more accurate. And now we've getting and now we are getting this technology in the keyboards. So I'm not exactly sure how much of a difference the TMR is gonna give you. But this technology basically means that the sensitivity of the magnetic field of the magnets is significantly higher, like 1000 X higher, the power consumption is much lower, so if you've got a wireless keyboard you you should, you should it could last longer I think. The accuracy is better so this tiny kind of movements like 0 0.01 millimeters you can set on this keyboard and it should be more accurate. The size is potentially smaller, so you can fit it into the joystick or a PCB more easily. The cost is higher, a little bit higher, so, but I don't know, this keyboard's like $80. So I'm not sure if the cost is, if it's actually that much higher. The thermal stability is better because the whole effect I think can be used up to in up to 150 um, Celsius and the TMR can be used in up to 200 Celsius and the consistency of the of working of the TMR is potentially more consistent in part to part performance so I could have done some tests on the on the performance and it's not a huge difference, it's just a tiny bit of better performance and better sensitivity and accuracy. But this is just the first keyboard with TMR and we're going we are going to get more keyboards like this in the in this year. So I'm definitely very curious if this technology is a game changer. I don't think it's a game changer because the whole effect basically was a quite quite big thing of the setting the actuation. This is a very very nice thing to have. And this is just a improved technology of whole effect. But it's yeah, I'm very very curious what the common ones will bring. So thank you for watching and here's the sound.